Another thing that happened this morning, early this morning, apparently, was Twitter earnings. Um, you know, the, there's been so much attention on this company. Um, Chris, what did we learn this morning? Well, there, Twitter is is uh, cutting about nine percent of its workforce, I mm -hmm. think, and so that sort of shows that it might be scaling back its ambitions um, to be the next Facebook, for instance. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, they have hundreds of millions of people using this product. You would think with that type of audience that they could make a decent business. Right, but Andrew, the issue is the growth of those numbers. User growth, it was zooming and then it plateaued and it just, you know, that, that's been the issue here and that's why uh, the company has been, you know, meeting with suitors, Salesforce, Disney. Exactly. I mean, look, it, 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 to me, this morning was a tale of the good, bad and the ugly, right? You, you know, the numbers actually were good. They beat a expectations. A little better, right. Uh, on revenue and earnings, but you know they're still unprofitable, and then they had the layoffs. Uh, yeah, Disney seems to be constantly bandied about in, as in terms of uh, an acquirer, but for me, it actually doesn't make sense. Disney creates content, and Twitter is is a distributor of that. So, you know, that's a very different business. So, what happens to this company, Chris? What do you think? I mean, you know, a lot of people say that Jack Dorsey, number one, needs to have one job, not two. Like for starters, <laughs> and I, I firmly believe in that. I mean, I, I, I do think it's a little ridiculous. Well, I think the end of the line ends up with them being acquired by somebody. Mm -hmm. Again, it is an attractive property given the audience that it has. It's just a matter of, you know, where does it make sense ending up? Andrew, do you think someone else will come out of the woodwork at this point? I think. This is a tough one. I mean, there have been so many names. I think that one of the tech companies ultimately will buy them. It's, it's just, it makes a lot more sense. Um, but I also think that, that honestly, Jack Dorsey, you know, the thing that he's got to deal with is he came in as the product visionary, and we haven't seen a whole lot on that right, front since right. he took the uh, job. <laughs>